Welcome back to part two of Downforce on Project Not So Lightweight. Today we are taking a piece of leftover Lexan, polyacrylic, uh, I don't know, we'll call this a million different things. But we're gonna use this to try to add some downforce in the back. Probably not like we should with a big fancy wing from Nine Lives or something like that, but maybe like all these uh, muscle cars we see nowadays with the uh, wicker bills hanging off of the back. I think that there's the potential that this could create a little bit of downforce, could create other problems. We've got to find out, but we're going to have to test that on track at a later date. For now, let's move forward with trying to get this mounted up in a way that is not going to just fly off the back of the car. Let's do this. All right, let me bring you up to speed on kind of where we're going to go from here. So obviously you can see that I've already started to form the uh, wicker bill here to the shape of the trunk lid. The trunk lid has a pretty generous curve to it. When you start cutting stuff flat, you realize how much it, it sweeps. And then I'm using riv nuts again here in the sheet metal to attach these little bent out brackets that I made out of the remaining sheet metal off of my hood. I cut the hood out to run my race louvers bent up the brackets, and then added just a tiny little curve to them so that they will conform to the trunklet's shape. And then to keep this thing from totally just bending all the way over, I've got some Amazon extension, splitter rods, uh, wing rods, I don't know. We're gonna see if we can't find a way to mount them three across to hold the wing or the wicker bill from just ripping off of the back of this. Who knows, it might rip straight off the back. I've got the GoPro mount down here anyhow, so that if it does, I'll watch it happen and then I can show you guys. So prior to having the acrylic shape, I did make one out of quarter inch plywood, which cut up really nice. And it got me super close uh, fitment wise. You can see that the, the trim line right along the leading edge there is super duper close. Enough so that now I can start working on mounting the splitter rods. Gosh, this takes forever. I think that'll work. Now that I uh, am comfortable with the idea that these rods are gonna work, it was time to mark up, drill up, and get this thing ready to bolt up. Time to test fit and figure out where we're gonna drill holes in this uh, trunk lid. I don't know about you, but drilling holes in any car gives me a little bit of the internal heebie-jeebies, even though I have essentially drilled holes in every corner of this car at this point, drilled or welded to it, whatever it's taken to get the cage and everything done. All right, let's do one. No sense drilling three holes first. All right, that one works. With no access to the inside of the trunk lid because of the dual layer sheet metal, I had to go back and use another set of rib nuts, which I don't know how in the world I worked on cars this long and didn't know that this tool was in existence. This has been an utter and total lifesaver in all of these blind areas where I just can't get a nut on the other side. After all that sanding, got the 
fit pretty tight in there right along the bottom you can kind of see here look through I'm gonna use some double-sided tape on the brackets mount that up and then the rods to hold the top all right I got the profile pretty damn close to the trunk lids profile but this piece of Lexan has been kicking around my garage for quite some time now I don't know if you can see inside there all of these scratches and whatnot uh, like I said before it was a part of another project so it's not going to be clear and I'm not running a rearview mirror anyhow because I can't see through the rear cross brace my thought is if I hit it with some more sandpaper on both sides I give it this kind of neat opaque look and no scratches because it's nothing but scratches so I think I'm okay with that I guess I have to do more sanding now dang all right so here's where we are I have sanded and sanded and sanded until I I can't even say it anymore but I think that it's starting to look pretty slick the opaque white almost blends in uh, with the silver I mean you know, silver is a boring color as it is it's also the fastest color but you know you argue that out in the comments fitment is pretty nice on the bottom here now all I have to do is prime up those brackets so can you even see that prime up the brackets and lock this bad boy down with a little bit more two-sided tape so here's basically what I'm gonna do with the bracket a little bit of two-sided tape. Try not to cut my finger off and trim the edges. Now I just need to make four more of these. All right, I've got all the tabs on. Look lined up, at least with where my little marks were. So let's see if this fits together. I spent Quite a bit of time trying to get these to fit just right. See, nothing an impact gun can't fix, I suppose. Probably single handedly the best and worst tool that you could use. Oh, that screw won't go in. Force it. Make new threads. It's three down. Well, this is getting kind of exciting. It's actually fitting. That one's close. Close enough for an impact. Yep, that worked. All right, last one, and then we can crank this thing down. Woo! Yeah. Thread it in there. One. Two. Well, that was a different sound. Three. Four and five. Well, <laughs> that's really exciting. Even just with the two-sided tape, it's relatively rigid. Now I gotta go find my hardware for the extension rods hiding on the workbench. Well, the clips went on well enough that I think I'm ready to Loctite the nuts and washers on. And coming up here in a couple of days, I'll have it on the track for some low speed tests. Autocross, it's something. Even though I'm running Loctite, I think I'm gonna run a lock nut on there too. I have it, so I figure I may as well. Well, if you've made it this far into the video, I wanna say thank you. 
To say thank you, I'm going to be giving away a part out of my uh, part stash up there. Everything I've taken off of the car that I haven't sold yet. What I have that I'm going to be giving away is the IHKA unit or AC control unit, whatever you want to call it. Whoever can guess the weight down to the ounces of one of the stock seats on this car, I'll be shooting it out to you no cost. So drop down in the comments for five days. I'll pull through there and I'll see who got the closest. Well, like three comments, two comments, whatever it takes. And I'll shoot it out to you. Again, thank you. Here's the reveal on the Wicker Bill.